hi guys it's so nice to see you again uh, so welcome back to my channel um, today I thought that since it is kind of rainy and stormy outside um, I'm all super comfy in my jacket I thought that maybe I would give you guys a little bit of ideas of things to do on rainy days so here in Florida it rains almost every afternoon during the summer uh, that's kind of the time period that we're in right now. Usually by about 3, 4 o'clock it starts to rain or at least starts looking gloomy. Uh, now I know that a lot of times on rainy days you're just kind of bored and out of luck because anything you wanted to do outside is probably not going to work out. So I have made a couple little lists of ideas of things that you guys can do. Uh, to kind of occupy your day when it rains. So I have five things that you would pay to go do, five free things to go do, because free is always better, especially when you're on a budget. And then I have three things that are kind of in the middle. They could go either way, depending on what you want to do with it. So I'm going to start with the paid things and work my way towards free. So the first thing you guys could go do is actually going bowling. So I know it's not something that a lot of people do anymore, uh, but bowling is really, really fun. And especially if you've never gone bowling, uh, it's something fun to try out and it's indoors, which means that it is great for the rain. Now, bowling is super fun and it's super fun to take lots of your friends. Uh, but you guys can even make up your own games and point systems and uh, make it even more fun if you wanted to. So the second thing that you guys can do is if you like to be active and jump around, especially if you have kids or younger kids, uh, is find a trampoline park. So trampoline parks are pretty popular uh, recently. They've started to kind of grow in size, but basically they're big trampoline parks. They usually have other things to do there besides just trampolines and jumping around but it's something fun and different to get you out of the house and get out some of that energy, especially if you're trapped in the house all day from rain. Now, on the flip side, if you want to just kind of hang around and not be so active and just kind of enjoy the slightly lazier, slower day, uh, you could maybe look around your area and try to find a museum or science center, uh, whether it is art or music or uh, science or animals. It's all really cool things to kind of explore, get your brain working, but also not have to kind of move around a whole bunch, which is kind of nice, especially on rainy days. Uh, now, speaking of animals, I can't forget this one because it is kind of my job, uh, but something you guys could do on a rainy day is visit an aquarium. So aquariums are like going to the zoo just inside and with underwater animals instead of land animals. You could always look for an aquarium or facility near you guys, uh, wherever you may be, and see if there is something there. Now the last thing I have in the paid category is something that could be fun for adults or kids, uh, and that is trying to find an arcade or some place to play laser tag. Uh, so I know that I always wanted to play laser tag as a kid, but I actually didn't get the chance to play laser tag until I was an adult. So laser tag is something super fun. Uh, you get to kind of make teams and go after your friends or random people, depending on whether you want to do it by yourself or with friends. Um, but an arcade is also a really fun way to spend your time uh, playing some of the older games or newer games or just trying to win fun prizes. I know that arcade prizes are not always the best, but it's always fun to play the games. Uh, so that is my quick little uh, paid category. Now let's move on to the category of either or. So the first one in this category is going to the mall. Uh, so the reason I put this in this category is because you can go to the mall to actually buy things or you can just walk around the mall. Uh, usually when I get really bored I tend to walk around places so uh, something like a mall is really good because it's all inside and it's got a bunch of different places that you can go so uh, it's 
kind of like an either or. You can buy things, you can not buy things, but it's a place that you can go. Now, another one that I have in this category is going to get food. So you can either go out someplace to get food, uh, whether that is someplace you love just going, or if you are trying someplace new. Or if you want to make it an at-home thing, you can maybe try to make something new that you've never made before. Uh, there's different cool things that you can make that don't take a lot of things. Uh, there's also a website where you can apparently put in uh, all of like the things that you have in your house and it'll tell you different recipes of things you can make. Uh, I will try to find out what it is and I will try to put it in the um, description box down below this video. Um, but anyways, you can still make really fun recipes or you could just make something you already uh, know how to make. Maybe invite some people over, friends, family, and just enjoy a nice meal together. So the last one that I have in this category is watching a movie. So watching a movie is a great thing to do on a rainy day. It's honestly probably one of my favorites on this list. Uh, so you can either go out to the movie theater and see something that you've wanted to see for a while and maybe just haven't had the time to go do. Or if you don't want to spend the extra money, which I completely understand that as well, you can always watch a movie at home. Whether it's a movie that you already have or something on Netflix or Hulu or something like that. Uh, Movie nights are always great. You can kind of just cuddle up in a warm, cozy blanket and eat some food and watch a movie. So that's always a great option for me. Now, on to the free category, because let's be honest, that's probably what most of us want. Um, I know that I am always looking for free things to do, especially when I'm really bored and can't really go out anywhere. So the first one is not very exciting but sometimes it needs to be done and that is just cleaning your house or your room uh, so sometimes it's nice just to take advantage of the rain and get ahead on things you need to do uh, be kind of productive and uh, throw on some music and just dance around and clean your house or your room uh, it's a great way to kind of get yourself being productive and using the most of your rainy day but it's not the funnest option so like also i'm not sure that funnest is actually a word but it is today um, so uh, aside from cleaning your room or cleaning your house you could also maybe read a new book uh, so reading a book is a great way to pass the time if you do like reading even if you don't uh, sometimes if you find the right book it will actually be really interesting. It's kind of like exploring another world. Uh, it's kind of like a movie, but you create the movie in your head. So I know that sounds kind of cheesy when I say it like that, but uh, reading new books is actually really fun. Um, I actually started a new series recently that I really, really like, and I just got the second book for it. So I'm really excited uh, to start reading that. Um, I don't read very often, but when I do, I tend to read a lot at one time. So it's a good activity for rainy days. Now, another thing that you guys can do is if you are kind of like a crafty person like me, uh, you can start a new craft or project. Christmas is not far away and also uh, for me personally, I actually have a lot of birthdays coming up in October, uh, so rainy days are a great way to kind of get a jump start on all of those projects uh, where I have to figure out something to do for birthdays and Christmas and all kinds of craziness. So it's a great time to kind of maybe get a head start on some of those projects. Now, these have all been things that you can do inside without getting wet. Uh, but if you don't mind going out in the rain, you can always go for a walk. Uh, I actually love going for a walk in the rain. In fact, a lot of times when it rains, I will go to theme parks. I will go to Universal and just walk around in the rain. Uh, it's kind of nice because usually there's not really any people there 
and they've all gone home or they're hiding under buildings and I just kind of take a nice little walk and enjoy the scenery, enjoy the atmosphere and just hang around. Uh, walking around in the rain though is actually really nice and relaxing and it's good to help kind of de-stress sometimes. Uh, now the last thing that I have is you guys could make a YouTube video. Uh, so if you guys watch a lot of YouTube or you have ever thought of making a channel, uh, rainy day is a great day to start it up. So all you really need is a, any kind of camera. Right now I'm actually using my phone, uh, so it's a pretty decent camera. Uh, my SD cards on my cameras are full right now and I haven't had a chance to sort through them and empty them out. So I've been using my camera on my phone and as you can see, it turns out pretty well. It works pretty well. Um, I do have a tripod, but that's just because I really like camera things and I do videos. Uh, but you don't need any of that to start. You can just prop your phone up on a desk or a shelf or anything at all, really. Or you can even hold it. I mean, that's what I do for vlogs. A lot of phones actually have a little bit of an editing thing on them. Um, I know this phone I think has iMovie because I have an iPhone. Um, I've not really used it much, but I know that it's there. I don't know how well it works. Um, I actually use CyberLink PowerDirector uh, on my computer. Uh, but when I first started, I actually got the mobile version because it was something that I could download free. It just had the watermark on it. Uh, and then once I actually got into making YouTube videos, I went and bought uh, one of the higher up, newer, nicer ones. But it is a cool way to maybe kind of start a YouTube channel. Alright, so I know that I have rambled on long enough and you guys are probably tired of listening to my voice, uh, but I do want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that it has been helpful to you guys at least a little bit. Uh, maybe it gave you an idea of something you could do or try on a rainy day and hopefully make sure that you guys aren't too bored. Uh, but anyways, I will let you guys go. I hope that you enjoy the rest of your day, uh, but again, if you do want to see anything from me, uh, just write it down in the comments below, and if you want to be notified when I upload, make sure to ring the little bell and subscribe to my channel. Alrighty, well, thank you guys so much for watching. You guys rock. I hope you have an amazing day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.